Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great, as always. Hope you have snow wherever you are for a nice white Christmas, right? Um, hope that's all going good. Uh, what I want to do today, that's the thing. What I want to do today is a little unorthodox because I've done some changes on my own, but they're not that big, it's nothing game breaking. Uh, and I just want to show you those changes and then we'll go on because I don't want to make a 20 minute video on this boring you about how to how to kind of make your GUI look a lot nicer uh, and stuff like that always you know I've made too many of those videos but uh but yeah anyway just check out the description box drop a like subscribe if you like the content all that stuff hope it's all going well um, and also I will push this to github soon I just forgot to do it so I'll do that uh, but anyway our main focus is enemy encounter this is where I've made all my changes and as you can see there's a lot of changes but let me just let me just go through this with you all right let's go up from the beginning just look at the code and make the changes wherever you do want to make the changes so what I liked I didn't really like the way it looked so let's just start up the top so I have a system clear at the very top of the menu alright every if statement and else statement is gonna have a system clear at the top of the menu okay then I have my menu string and I made sure battle menu is at the top okay then I tell the user whose turn it is alright now I have too many of those there so I just I'm just gonna have one player turn like that uh, then I get the characters menu bar if you remember that we created that in here the menu bar uh, I don't remember if I added new lines here but you should check that out I, I think I did uh, anyway then I just I just print that out uh, I tell the user what the user can do get the choice as always we still didn't change anything there then I have a system clear up here uh, which I think we did before as well um, pretty sure but still, if you don't have a system clear up here at the beginning of the case, go ahead and do that. Uh, then we have the menu string clear, obviously. We just want to clear that out. Um, then we're going to select the enemy. This doesn't really work for some reason because, uh, yeah, it doesn't really clear all this out. Anything we printed out before, but still, you know what? doesn't really matter. We will we'll go on with that. So you just select the enemy. Uh, all that stuff should be the same combat total all this stuff should be the same this is the big difference so I added a string 30 new line thing here okay just like that exactly like that go ahead and do it if you want um, added some of these nice little touches this is new in the beginning of every every combat total all these stats here another divider and then a uh, another new line down here just to divide it up then we come in here and the hit uh, there's no more system pauses and clears around here so we hit the enemy then we're just gonna say hit colon damage obviously you can read so you can see that uh, two new lines all that stuff enemy defeated a little more flare on this XP gain gold gain all just the the, the usual stuff okay um, nothing special all we need is a new line in front of this just like that uh, boom 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 new lines new lines for everyone all is fine and then we get the alerts weapon drop. I'm just gonna remove that. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say uh, C out weapon drop like this, and a new line like that. Just gonna do the same thing here. Uh, C out armor drop and a new line. So it just looks a little cleaner. Okay, it should be fine. And then enemies remove if you kill them, all that stuff. See out, missed. You need a new line after that as well. If you missed, and I added a little flare to this as well. So little spaces. Um, and then defend doesn't have anything. Item, use item, menu title, menu item. All good. All good, all good. Uh, all this is crap. Flask used. Change this up. All of this. No such menu and option is an error code, or not an error code, but an error uh, GUI function. And then I have a system pause. This is the only system pause. So just go ahead and search for system and remove every system pause and put it at the end of this if statement, okay? Just put it at the end of this big if statement. So let me just show you where it is. This is the whole if statement, okay? And it's just at the end of that. So you put it under player turn five. That's the only one. That's the only one. System clear is here and there. Any anytime you want a new 
uh, system clear thing going. Now I did do menu clear. Let me just do one thing. Let me just do one thing. Uh, menu string dot clear. Oh, we do a system clear up here. Um, okay, so that's kind of strange. Why it? Okay, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, anyway, that's that. Okay, the system pause is really important. Then else if this is if the enemy attacks. This is the enemy's turn. We clear the system, the whole window. Battle menu goes on top again. Now we say enemy turn. So I'm gonna do this the same way. Uh, enemy turn. Okay. And now I'll just do a new line here, I guess. I don't know how many new lines I had up there. Pretty sure it was just one, right? No, two new lines. Player turn. Did I have a dot after that? Let me just see. Player turn. No. Enemy turn. Okay, then I just add two new lines. Uh, all add, blah, blah, blah. Enemy. Which enemy it is. Two new lines again. I just usually I like to divide these up because I, I think it looks clearer. Um, and nah, we'll just keep them there. And then you do the same thing here with the combat total, all the stats and everything. Just do that. If you want, obviously you can go just copy the code um, from GitHub and put it in if you want that. Otherwise, you can just follow follow me here and see what I'm doing. So I just did that. Don't forget the new line there. Hit and HP looks just like this. And if you're defeated, it prints this out. Um, otherwise, obviously missed. And at the end of the uh, else if, it's just system pause. Okay. Now this is if enemy should be defeated. So I'm not sure. No, this is when enemy attacks. Okay, that's cool. That's that's no big deal. Uh, missed. Or do we need two new lines down here? maybe we don't need two new lines you know we'll just keep one and then we'll we'll fix that if it's necessary this as well needs a new line like that so it's all about you know nitpicking so if I'd made a whole video on this you'd probably hate me by now just some of you probably do because I make these long ass slow videos but anyway uh, so there you go system pause at the end nothing else down here it should all look look great uh, so if we just run this, I just want to show you how this looks. Um, am I recording? Is a good question. Yes, I am. Okay, so that's how it looks. So travel, uh, travel, zero, nope, travel again. Okay, so this is how it looks. Battle menu. All right, it's enemy's turn. Enemy number three. Uh, this is the combat total. This is the roll and everything that happened. Hit, hit me for 13. My HP is 73 out of 86 now. Um, okay, so that's how that looks. Okay, and I forgot to show you the other stuff, but I just need to, I just need to change this. So there was a hit there, but this was the enemy attack. So we do need to say player HP there. Hit a space, add a space there. Uh, so there you go. It should look a little better now. Um, also, I want to just copy this, and I'm gonna put this above where I actually hit the enemy hit okay so enemy HP I'm gonna do this as well enemy HP so enemies choice enemies that choice get HP get HP okay there's a small P there so no big deal um, get HP max okay so that should look good that should look good now let's try that one more time before we have to end the video but this is just to make it look a little nicer so this might be an idea for you guys and girls if you want to make it look a little better uh, whoops uh, I just have to do this for my own sake because because uh, uh, I thought it looked like ass honestly so that's why now here we go enemy turn enemy one uh, missed me cool attack this is my turn attack uh, now I get to choose who to attack obviously I want to attack the one with the least defense zero and then it says okay combat total the whole roll all that stuff hit 35 enemy HP 22 out of 75 cool looking good all right enemy turn 
hits me for 25. See, it makes it look a little, a little better. Uh, now I don't know why this does not work yet, but I do want to figure that out. Uh, and then we just do enemy defeated, armor drop. Enemy defeated, gold gain, and we got an armor drop as well. Okay, so that that looks that looks pretty 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 okay, pretty good, I, I'd say. Uh, Mist needs a new line more, one more new line. So I'm just gonna copy that. Pretty sure these are gonna need, or we'll just leave all of that. You know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? Before the system pause, we'll do a C out uh, of a new line, just to make it. A little nicer okay just make it a little nicer that's all we need just a little new line after uh, so there we go that looks great I will look into why this menu string dot clear is not working uh, because obviously it should work um, but yeah we'll we'll figure that out anyway anyway that's great for now okay that's great for now I got a um, just add some more functions in here to make it look a little better I'll do that as we go on we don't have to do it right away but still this is uh, this is gonna help us work with the battle menu and the boss menu when we do arrive at that point thanks everybody hope you're having a, a great time um, and uh, hope you're learning hope everything's okay with you guys and girls it's fun watching these videos or making these videos sorry not watching them um, because uh, I like working on this game it's, it's kind of fun but they're short videos and a bunch of them so I understand it's kind of a pain in the butt looking at all of those but thank you for all of you who support me thanks to everybody who watched and yeah take care keep learning and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one alright bye bye